Hello, I'm MX Craven, and welcome back to How to Xenotic. Today we're going to be going through all of the game modes in Xenotic. There are many game modes to choose from, and this is a basic overview of how you play all of them. Deathmatch is likely going to be your introduction to Xenotic. This is a free-for-all game mode, so you've got no teammates to help you. The aim is to score the most points. You score a point by killing an opponent, and you lose a point by killing yourself. This game mode has item pickups, and you'll spawn with limited weaponry. You'll need to collect more items to keep yourself alive and to be able to do damage to enemies. We recommend you keep moving, and to try and grab as many health and armor pickups as possible. Clan Arena is a round based game mode which is played with teams. Each team spawns with almost all weapons. In each round every player only has one life and once they die they can only spectate until the end of the round. If one surviving team remains they win the round and gain a point. By the default rules the first team to reach 10 points in total or the first team to be 6 points in the lead wins the match. Clan Arena can be played with 2 to 4 teams. Each round starts off in chaos as there's 5 or 10 people grouped together shooting rockets at each other and finishes off more tactically as health runs out. Team Deathmatch is a game mode much like Deathmatch except the players are divided into teams and are pitted against each other. Teammates need to communicate to each other to ensure a victory. The maps are generally slightly bigger than Deathmatch maps and teamwork is very important to winning the game. Duel is the height of competitive Xenotic. A 1 vs 1 game mode where only your skills versus your opponent matter. This game mode is usually played with the Xenotic Pro mode competitive modifications enabled. Played on smaller maps with a 10 minute time limit, the aim of the game is to frag your opponent more than they frag you. This game mode sees many different strategies, from slow strategic calculated play to the plus forward aggressive style of certain players. Duel is the place to test your skills where only your skills matter. Capture the Flag, or CTF, is a team-based objective game mode where the aim of the game is to enter your opponent's base, take their flag, and bring it back to yours. This scores your team one point. There are usually two teams, but it can be made up to four if the map supports it. If the enemy team steals your flag, you must kill the carrier, walk over the flag to teleport it back to your base before they manage to get the flag back onto their flagpole. To capture a flag and score a point, you must collect it from the enemy base by walking over it to pick it up and carry it back to your base. Walk over your flag to score a point. The enemy flag will then teleport back to their base ready to be grabbed again. In this mode, team communication is very important to let your team know where the enemy is. You will not only have to control the flags but also powerful item pickups that will help give you more health to be able to survive the inevitable onslaught of enemy fire as you carry the flag back to your base. CTS, complete the stage or defrag, is a race style game mode where the objective of the game is to get to the end of the stage as fast as possible. Sometimes this will require no weapons and sometimes this will have weapons like the blaster and the rocket launcher to allow you to gain more speed, height, distance and clear gaps. In general this game mode is just about perfecting your movement skills and going fast. Freeze Tag is a round based game mode with teams. The objective is to freeze all the opponent teammates until only one team remains. When a player is fragged, they are frozen. Frozen teammates can be unfrozen by standing close to them. The surviving team wins the round and collects one point. Freeze Tag generally contains pickups, so grab those health packs to keep you alive. Keep Away is a free for all objective based game mode. The objective is to take the ball and while you have it, to kill as many people as possible while protecting yourself and the ball. To gain points, simply kill the ball carrier, which will gain you one point, and kill an opponent while you are carrying the keep away ball. Sometimes you will have time points, which is to carry the ball for a short amount of time and you will slowly gain points, but this is not enabled by default. Key Hunt is a seamless round based game mode. In each round, one player of each team gets a key and the goal of each round is to collect all the keys to gather up a lot of points. The first team to reach the score goal wins the match. Because of the seamless rounds, the beginning of each round just starts and keys get handed out at random and then the game is on. The HUD and radar will show the position of the key holders after a few seconds, making it easier to find them and hunt them down. Assault is a team-based game mode, similar to a tower defense game. 
The attacking team tries to destroy as many objects as possible while moving through the map, with the defending team trying to stop them. After the attacking team reaches the final goal, the teams switch and now the defending team has to attack and finish the stage faster than the other team managed to. The winner is the one who gets the furthest in the time limit or completes the whole thing fastest. Domination is a control point style game mode for two to four teams. The aim of domination is to control as many points as possible and rack up as many frags as possible. Con owning a control point will get you points, so will killing an opponent, but killing yourself and killing teammates will lose your team points. The first team to reach the score limit will win the match. Last Man Standing, or LMS, is a deathmatch style game mode where you start with a limited amount of lives and with all core weapons. The aim is to be the last person with lives left. Next ball is a ball sport like game mode in Xenotic, much like football or soccer. There are two types of next ball, with weapons and without. Without weapons, it's a game very much like regular football. All you do is run into the ball to kick it and get it into the opponent's goal. With weapons, the game changes a lot. You must frag your opponent and you must pick the ball up, which carries it with you with a special weapon. You can no longer attack and can only pass the ball to other players. In the end, the objective is the same. Get the ball into the opponent's goal to score points. Onslaught is a MOBA style game mode where the objective is to destroy the opponent's generator. First you have to go through a line of defences until you can get to the generator and finally destroy it. The first team to destroy the other team's generator will win the match. Instagib is a popular mutator for all of these game modes that spawns you with one weapon, the Vaporizer. This is a very fast paced version of the game with one hit one kill gameplay and often a grappling hook. This mod or mutator can be applied to any game type and almost entirely changes how they are played. Xenotic has a rich server modding scene, so if you join some servers, you may find game modes that are not listed in the default package. These are fantastic and really show the strength of this community. Thank you for watching this basic overview of all of Xenotic's game modes. I hope that you come back to see some more in-depth guides into these game modes. And now get out there, pick a server, pick a game mode and have some fun. Thank you very much for watching.